I think we've got a real good shot at it. Uh, we've got a good plan in place. We've got a great crew here, good bunch of team members, and uh, we're all looking forward to making this happen for, for everybody here in Mystic. Project Superintendent Matt Hebert is talking about the likelihood that Chinbro team members and subcontractors will meet an April 15th deadline for substantial completion of the Mystic Drawbridge Rehabilitation Project. In this third and final year of the important work, team members can look back at the previous two years of meeting that April 15th deadline for cessation of activity for the season. This time, the completion of the winter's work will leave the bridge ready for action for the next 25 years. This is our third and final season here in Mystic. This year's major work includes the removal and replacement of the control house. Behind this is the, uh, the new control house setting in place. We've got folks in there working on the finished work. Siding will be going on soon. The electricians are doing their work with the control panels and conduit inside and underneath the control house. Also behind us you see the containment for the counterweights. That's some work that the DOT recognized needed to be done to rehabilitate those counterweights so we helped them out and undertook that work this season. And then the other largest part of what's going on this year is the uh, removal and replacement of the existing operating machinery. There's uh, two sets of operating machinery for this bridge, one north and one south that uh, consist of electric motors, uh, main reducer, and then some open gearing that ultimately drives the bascule span up and down. All of that existing machinery was removed. The uh, machinery pits were rehabilitated. Uh, most of the structural steel was completely removed and replaced. The machinery pit floors, which were a cast in place concrete slab, has been removed and replaced. So you've got two essentially brand new machinery pits and all brand new operating machinery brand new controls package to, to operate it, as well as the electrical system that powers and, and drives the bridge. The Chinbro-led teams during this third phase encompassed a wide variety of disciplines. During the first year, blasting and painting were the key tasks. In the second year, the focus was on structural repairs and mechanical repairs within the balance truss and realignment. In this final winter of work, Chinbro brought everyone together, structural, mechanical, and electrical, to put the finishing touches on the package. Phase three, the plan was to remove and replace all of the operating machinery as well as the electrical system. We've done work in prior seasons to run as much conduit as possible to get a jump on this third season here. Once the old control house was removed and the existing structural steel supporting it was removed, we were able to install the new structural steel which opened up the work for the rest of the conduit leading to the house which we were able to rough in once the uh, control house was set. We certainly had some challenges regarding the control house. We found an issue with the counterweight swing into the new control house because of where the location of the control house was originally planned um, through our shop drawing checking process. We found an interference between where the counterweights would have come into contact with the control house. As a result, we, uh, we partnered up with, with the DOT and their engineers along with Alan Fisher and his group and came up with a solution that would allow the structural steel to be uh, redesigned and able to take the load of the control house two feet further to the south, a larger cantilever if you will, off the side of the bridge so it could be out of the way of the, uh, the counterweight swing. In the last weeks of the project are items like the installation of the vehicle barrier gate vault during a 54 hour roadway outage and an 80,000 pound pick. But in spite of the challenges of coexisting in a busy downtown district with residents and visitors who have lives to lead, it looks like the Chinbro team will come in on schedule and under budget for the people of Mystic, a result that has earned the gratitude of the public. The team has been excellent. I couldn't ask for anything more. They've come in with a great attitude every day. They work safe. We all work together every morning putting together our activity plans and going through them with the crews so everybody understands what's going on. Folks don't hesitate to stop and ask questions and that's probably the most important thing. Just making sure everybody understands what we have to do every day and if there is any kind of question, working through that to make sure it's clear in everyone's mind because everybody has the opportunity to make a positive impact on how this work goes together. It's been an extraordinary experience. Very lucky in this business to have a geographic location like this. It really is a beautiful small town. The local business owners have been very welcoming, very accommodating of us. They're all looking forward to us being complete and being out of here, but at the same time they realize that we're here 
ultimately to help their town and, uh, and their community. They understand the draw of this bridge, the, uh, the attraction that it has to tourism, and uh, that it's a necessary project that we are performing here for them, and they are very appreciative of that.